to the end because you're going to be surprised what all this stuff I'm about to show you adds up to. And this is one purchase at a yard sale. In the world of memories where the past unfolds, there's a man named Scott with stories to be told. He sells antiques, vintage treasures so divine. On eBay and Etsy, with the sun and moon entwined. Scott sells stuff in the digital bazaar. From dusty attics to a worldwide bazaar. In his antique booth, where time takes a pause, he's the curator of dreams for a vintage car. All right, guys, so what we're going to show right now is I bought a Zenith Heathkit Hero One Robot ET18. Is also a code for this uh, like model number or something like that. So I really don't know like the intricacies about this. I do know that this was from the 1980s and they made three different versions. They went from a junior and then the 2000. So this one I purchased was the initial first one. For R2-D2, Hero 1 is here. Hero is the first robot made by Heathkit, a subsidiary of the Zenith Company. On this day, he was showing some Virginia Beach 6th and 7th graders how robotics work. Hero can move and talk. Light sensor beams enable him to see, and sound sensors allow him to hear. He's basically a training computer on wheels, but he can be used as a watchdog of sorts. Uh, I might scare off a burglar because it does have a voice output. Uh, it also... Uh, could be hooked up to alert you. It could set off a siren. Uh, there are a number of things that you could do with it. Hero costs from $1,000 to $2,500, depending on whether you want him pre-assembled and the features you want. Although today's robots are mostly the industrial type, Jacob says they'll become more commonplace and cheaper. I think that you will see lots and lots of these. Uh, the cost is coming down greatly. People are going to be able to afford to have these in their houses. They're becoming sophisticated and they can actually begin to do things. So because I couldn't test it, because it's just too big to ship, things are going to break. Um, it's just going to be a disaster. What I decided to do is to part it out. Sell for parts repair, part it out, that kind of thing. I couldn't test anything anyway, so everything's going to be untested. Now, one item I'm not going to show you because it sold already. It sold within about 20 minutes. It was just a little circuit board, and it sold for $200. Um, and I, it sold it sold within 20 minutes of listing at 15, 20 minutes. So anyway, let's go take a look at these parts that I have in my store right now. So this first one here that we got, we're going to show you here is the, uh, it is the top. It's the, you could call it a panel. I, I call it a cover, but I guess the official term is top panel cover. And uh, as you can see right here, I went a little bit heavy on this. I think the last one sold about a year or so ago. Uh, for about 150 Canadian, uh, all my all my uh, listings here are in Canadian. Uh, as you can see here, I am from Canada. Uh, as you can see here, I am from Canada. This one I put 225 dollars. There's none out there right now, none available, and uh, this one's in very good shape. As you can see here, different angles, and uh, very happy to uh, to get this. I think it should be easy to ship. A little bit bulky, but uh, very very light. Uh, the next part here is a uh, front panel cover, and it uh, looks like a couple of people are watching this one here, but I haven't had any bites or anything. I did sell a couple of offers for $194.95 to some watchers. Uh, again, I have this panel, which is in great condition. There's no cracks, there's no breaks or anything like that in these. They do show a little bit of aging, and I uh, have $225 on this as well. But again, I'm probably anywhere from 175, 200. Like I'd be pretty happy with that one here. So uh, this one here, I also have the back panel cover. Really, nothing too much different here than the uh, front. Uh, just different holes and stuff. But it still has the advertising, and uh, all all these are very clean, uh, no breaks. So um, this next uh, thing I've got here is 125 dollars, and this is again untested. But this is a charging unit. And as you can see here, it does power on. So I'm going to assume it's probably working. Um, everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, it's very clean. I, I did swipe off some dust. That's really all I did. Put a little zip lock on the cables here. Um, but as you can see where it plugs in there, it looks pretty clean, pretty good. So I'm going to assume it probably does work, but I can't sell it like that. Now, I first thought this was a controller, but it is a programming unit. The controller actually looks different. 
has all the functions and stuff. I think this thing is very important. Uh, $225. This one's again, very good condition, no breaks. There's a little piece here where the coating, the gray uh, plastic coating starting to come apart from the wires. But I'm only assuming so. When you actually look at the plug, it may never have meant to have uh, gone all the way down there, right? So maybe there's another piece to cover it up. But I, th I think this is the most most expensive part. This is the one that everybody is going after. And it's got the pr heaviest price tag for sure. But I think these things are a lot of times broken. So let's go take a look at this. So we're looking at the Heat Kit Hero uh, robot arm. Again, this is untested, parts and repair. I cannot test it, but I am selling this one a little bit heavy here because I'm also selling it, as you can see here in the photo, with the motor. A lot of pe people sold the so, uh, motor separately or they've left it on the, uh, the top cover piece because uh, it does bolt in. But I'm selling the bracket and the motor and everything uh, part of this. So I bumped it up and it has sold for this price in the past. Uh, it did have a line through it, so maybe they settled around $600. Um, but I have $650 on this right now. And uh, everything is pretty good and clean. Now, there are a couple of places here, as you can see, where somebody put a zip tie because the where the screw would go in there, uh, it, did, it, did, it did break. Um, but that's a very minor thing in my mind. And there's also another part here uh, you can see where somebody put one of those plumbing bracket things. As you can see here, um, it is a USA made product. So that should help as well. But uh, really very clean, very good shape. But I'm not. I'm going to just beef it up a little bit here. You get the whole enchilada, the whole thing, all grouped up together for one low, low price of $650 Canadian. So this is the keyboard display panel. Again, untested, but very clean. Uh, I did kind of wipe it down a little bit with a very dry Q-tip. Uh, and I only did that to take off a little bit of the surface dust. So really was nothing else there to worry about. Um, very good shape. And this is the keypad. We'll take some closer look uh, at it. And you can see, again, there's just a little bit of dust on there. So I'm not going to clean it because maybe these uh, electronic keyboard guys, they might have special ways they like to clean this kind of stuff, right? Because it can maybe affect the... Uh, the working behavior of the board. So I don't know if these numbers mean a whole lot, but I did make sure that the photos uh, displayed the numbers in here. And uh, I'm selling this thing for $199.95. But uh, here we got the uh, Expertal panel board. Uh, we have the sonar receiver and sensor tubes. Again, everything is untested. Now we'll take a little closer look at this here because um, this is something here that I think should have some really good value. And it's going to give you that authentic sound in my mind. I don't know for sure, but it's got the original speakers. It's got the circuit board. It's got the bracket. Um, it's got all the plug-ins. Really, this stuff just kind of plugs in its own. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I think that should do fairly well, seeing that there's not available. And next here, you're going to go quickly here. This is uh, another part of the robot arm. This is a drive board and uh, $74.95 on it. Uh, next, we have the Robot Sense Board, $94.95, and the Sonar Transit Board. So all these things probably have some sort of value. The fact that they're untested may mean I'm a little bit heavy on the price, uh, but we will see. Uh, another main drive board here, $74.95, and a Robot Power Supply Board. Again, untested, $84.95. Some of these I had to do some guesswork at because... They're just a little bit rare and there's really not available. So what I had to do is see what kind of prices are on other boards. Uh, a lot of this isn't on eBay.ca. So I actually had to do a little bit more digging and I had to go on to eBay.com just to find some of the stuff. So uh, very rare and uh, some of it sold, some of it doesn't have sold comps and uh, a lot of it just isn't even listed. Now this was the toughest thing to take apart of the whole thing, just because it was plugged in and I didn't want to break anything. I wanted the clips good. I wanted the little spikes that they're, they clipped into to be all good and everything. And I happened to manage to do that. I think only one wire was kind of snipped, um, but it's not really a big deal because they'll just fix that. That's what these guys do, right? So anyways, this is the wiring harness, 194.95. Uh, I also put in the bracket for this because it really does, I, I didn't want to 
mess around too much and start separating them. I just thought, here's the whole wiring harness. There you go. But here's the bracket, and um, it, it has the two plugins, one for the charger, one for the remote. It's got a couple other um, little plugs in there and the on and off switch. So um, I had to take that bracket and all those wirings off that bracket, take all the wires out, and then put those back into it. So kind of a tedious job. Probably took a couple hours just to do the harness itself. Um, there's another circuit board, the robot... I guess it's an I.O. board, um, but this kind of is inside of it. It actually was attached to the outer side of the upper side panels, which I'm going to show you next. Um, it's the top portion. I took it off because it was an exterior circuit board, but you're going to see in the next item, I left the interior circuit board with it. So now here we got here, we got the two things that are left. And this is the top panel. It has the motor. And again, it's untested, but it does have the motor where that top spins. And I think that's very important. And I'm going to say it probably works. Everything's very, very clean. And uh, it's got all the wiring. I left a couple of the wires plugged in. And I just unplugged a couple of the other wirings that go that were kind of attached to the, uh, the wire harness itself. And uh, I just left them in there. So they'll have to reattach it if they ever get the wire harness. So... I did see this go for over $400 Canadian with the wire harness in there, but they also sold the bottom piece with part of the wire harness. And to me, they were all a mess. I don't know how to work this. I don't want to spend time learning on it. So I took the whole wire harness, sold it separately, which other people have done as well. And I left this to the bare shell. Um, other than, as you can see in this picture here, I did leave the circuit board, the inner circuit board there. I just didn't want to start taking that apart and then just, just to me, it's just going to be this whole thing, $324.95. I did base it on the one that sold for like $411 Canadian. Um, but that other one had the wire harness still on it. But the main part for me, in my mind, is it still has the motor. So if that works, I think $324.95 is, is a good deal. And last but not least on this uh, Heath Kit Hero, Robot, uh, Hero One Robot, um, is the bottom bracket. And this one also comes with the motor. This motor drives a front tire. Now there's three tires on this, as you can see in this photo, uh, three tires and, uh, the motor up top, which drives it. But I also heard, I heard that uh, some people are modifying these things a little bit. They're putting a bigger motor on so that it moves faster. I also heard that some people are making them remote control and uh, that doesn't surprise me i think that's probably a very interesting way to do it as you look here very clean on the back uh the wheels obviously they got a little bit of dirt on them but or anything like that so as you can see there the motor um all also a us uh, a product and uh, i think everything in here is pretty clean and pretty good so i think this should be desirable uh 344.95 on this just because it does have the drive motor and the tires um not that it's any worth any more than the other. I, I really don't know. Um, I just feel if you need it to go anywhere, this is the part you're going to need more than the other parts. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you liked the episode here. I just wanted to share with you. Uh, here's a grand total. Ba boing If I sell everything for what I'm asking, what it could come to. Till next time, just Scott sells stuff.